Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you, you've done it in other calls. You, you've done, you, but this one, you kind of like, what I liked about it, you paced it and you, you, you kind of like took care of my, whatever objective I had, I brought it up and you took care of it. But I See, didn't I, really I, get into explainer mode. I didn't, I, I did uh, like this much. Yeah, but, but you know what? It, I mean, I felt comfortable dealing with you. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. I, I did, I played like, okay, I don't understand what you're saying, but you were like real patient. You're like, boom, this is what you do. So when you, it stumped me when you asked me at the very end, so what do we do next? I'm like, hell, I ain't the investor. But, but I, after you explained it, I know where you were going for me to say, uh, yeah, let's do it. You know, I'm ready to, yeah. I'm ready to leave. Right. And, and, yeah. And do yeah. the deal. Because see, I'm busy. I'm a busy Problem. businessman. Right. And I'm right. looking for an investment property. And I've already told you, I'm kind of in a hurry. And I've already told you, you can tell me no. Right. So right. it's okay for me to push the tempo and say, right. hey, listen, you said you're comfortable. I'm going to send you this stuff. We're going to talk again. You're going to talk to right. your wife and every the decision maker is going to be, okay, right. great. Perfect with that. All right. If, I'm, if I've answered all your questions and you're comfortable, are you going to fuck me around some more? No, it's, it's I, I mean, you called it out, right? It's like, yeah. are, are we going to do this? You know, if you're comfortable yeah. with it, we're doing this. Oh, so you, that was cool, man. Yeah. You know, there's an old proverb that says the rich answers roughly, mm. you know, and, and that's so true. The rich man answers roughly. He ain't got no time for bullshit. Right. Right. Like, like I need to know after at eight 30 tonight, if you're comfortable or at nine o'clock tonight, when the call, the second call is after I've sent you the paperwork and you've seen it, you've talked to the decision maker, the woman, she's there. Everybody, okay, yep, nine o'clock's a great time. Okay, what Let's happens if I make you feel comfortable with everything and everything makes sense? What happens next? Yeah, you're calling them That's, out, right? Yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. I, the rich man's answering roughly now. I'd rather you just tell me no. Now, it's that was cool too because that put it as you know, it's like it makes you think inside. It's like, well, I've got an opportunity here, I don't want to fuck it up. You know, I want this guy to at least make, send me an offer. Let's do it, right. So. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I think, you know, um, the opposite of that spectrum is when you have the sales guy that is the friendly beggar. You know what I mean? Yes. Fuck yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I have this. I, I feel the same way. I just, but, but the way you, but the way you uh, present it and you answered my questions was cool, man, because I didn't feel rushed. You know, I know this is role play, but I didn't feel rushed. I didn't feel like, like you were, yeah, you're a busy businessman, but you were taking the time to answer my questions, you know, which is cool, you know. But so, I try to answer my questions. My objective when answering questions is, is, is to not raise more questions. Hmm. Yeah. And I felt like you were throwing some objections at me, some questions, questions, objections. There were more questions than objections. And I want to answer said questions in such a way that you're not like, okay, but wait a minute. How yeah. Do you, how do you like, do? like trigger another one, right? Yeah. And now, <laughs> and, and now my motivation level goes yeah. from 10 down to like two. Yeah. 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 No, I was clever. I, I, I like the, the, the way that was presented. You know, what's great is, is being in Texas. I feel like you have a more simple, I feel like you have a straight path right to the deal. I mean, with the paperwork and everything, like I'm so excited for it, to be honest with you. Um, because the way that you're, you're going to do the paperwork is easier to explain. You heard me explain it, uh, easier to explain to the homeowner than let's say a lease option. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to enter into a purchase and sale agreement with you. We're going to, you're, but you're going to give me 18 months to close on it. No. 12 months. Okay. And in the meantime, I'd like you to lease the place to me. Does that seem unreasonable? I mean, isn't that like pretty yeah, clear? It is clear, very clear, man. Yeah. So I tried no, to, I'm cool. trying to refresh some of the conversation since I didn't hit the record button. Uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I remember some of it. I took some notes. Um, and, and, uh, what I have on here is like, 
you, you, you took the time to answer the seller's questions and that was, it was smooth. I didn't feel like you were rushing me. Yeah. You're well, moving me along, but you weren't rushing. And I tend to kind of like, boom, like, uh, you know, it's, and I need more experience with this, but, but it seems like I'm more mechanical at this stage and I want to get smooth. I want to, I want it to be like you're doing what I'm learning from you is that you're doing it. Like it's a conversation, man. You're just having a conversation with me Yeah. and see if it, see if it works. Yeah. My take on you, Raul, is that you are a Lamborghini sitting in the garage. Man, I've been I've been called a Ferrari too, man. Well, my, my I've got another was, I've got another my, student whose last name is Ferrari. Can you? Oh, are you that? serious? Oh, that's cool, yeah. man. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's a he's a French man. He's speaks French. Wow. Uh, I, I guess he does. I haven't heard him, but he was, or maybe it's Italy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Overseas, it's I'm cool, sorry. dude. It's always <laughs> anyway. Uh, great guy, great guy. But yeah, yeah, so he's the Ferrari. You're the Lambo. Um, I'll be the Lamb. I, just, I saw <laughs> one. I saw one in my neighborhood the other day. Oh man, it's and that guy or whoever was in the car, I couldn't tell what it was. Man, that those cars are just Jesus, man. I'd yeah. like to own a couple of those. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Yeah, they're, they're sweet. Uh, well, this Lamborghini's sitting in the garage, and it's beautiful. And it's ready. It wants to get out on the road. It just needs a little tune-up. Just a tune, man. Yeah, it's been sitting in the garage too long. That's it. Just a little <laughs> tune-up. We can get you that little tune-up, and you'll be ready to burn. Yeah, rubber, man. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run with this, man. I, and I thank you for for taking the time to all, do all this stuff because I want to do it right, but I want to. I want to uh, be able to to really run with this and make a lot of that shut-up money. Well, <laughs> you are so, on the right track. Thank you, sir. I do believe I that. It. Hey, I see. Uh, oh, Michael Goolsby was on here, but he he jumped off. I saw I'm somebody here. Michael. Hello. Michael likes to. Uh, Can you? Riot, yeah, Ryan, you there? Yeah, yeah. I have a question about an objection I had today. Yeah, what is it, Ryan? Um. Welcome, dude. Good yeah. to see you. Yeah, not, yeah, man. How's it going? Uh, yeah, the owner said. Uh, I said, we'll, uh, I'll bring a tenant, you know, that'll be qualified. He said, do you have one ready now? So he said, I mean, I don't know what to tell him. I said, no, I'll, uh, I'll find one. But that's a question I get. Do you have the tenant ready now? Yeah. Okay. I have two thoughts on this, Ryan. Number one, you could have a tenant ready now. You could be marketing to the, for tenant buyers, and you could be pre-qualifying some of them as a precursor and maybe even some of them would be one that would fit a deal that you would get. Okay, so you can work at what I would call reverse lease options, which is finding a, a buyer and then going, a tenant buyer, and then going towards getting a lease option deal with the homeowner that would fit them. Okay, that's not a bad way to do it, and I've seen guys do it. I particularly don't do it that way, but it can be done, and maybe in many cases should be done that way. So you could do it that way. Secondly, if you're not doing it that way and they ask you the question, do you have a tenant buyer ready now? Here's what I normally say. Yes. However, we have not had any access to the property. I can't guarantee that they will like it once they've been inside. I can't guarantee that they'll even want to go see it but we we normally have no problem placing tenant buyers in homes that are rent ready they look decent to live in so i'm i can assure you that we have people who would want to get into that home given a little bit of time to pre-qualify them and you do want us to pre-qualify them before we bring them over and everything anyway right okay no, it was good. yeah they're not gonna say no to that yeah, yeah. so you know you that's know sweet, that's how man. i handle it man you know, it, it, is it a lie? Eh, maybe a little, <laughs> but you know, uh, it's not a lie. If you got a Craigslist ad up and people are calling it, you know, a, a fake ad, that's how you get fake tenant buyers <laughs> is you get a fake ad. So you put up a fake yeah, this, ad. This, this guy was uh, anyway, two hours away from me. So I wasn't sure what to tell him. I, I, I mean, I can't go see the house myself, you know? 
yeah. I would just tell them, I'd say, hey, you know, <clears throat> we do, but, you know, it's not certain that we have one that will fit that house at the moment, but we are always bringing new people in every day. Uh, and, and, and so what does it, what would it cost you to, to give us a, a shot here, sir? What would, what would the price of it be for you? I don't understand. <laughs> you know, like I've said things like that before too. You know, I don't really get what we're getting at here. You want me to have the problem solved already? You just, you just fucking told <laughs> oh me about it. Oh, geez, man. That's like a one-two punch. Like, you know, boom, right. Boom, boom. <laughs> like, but for real, like you, you already want me to, ha yeah, you want me to have this fucking thing rented out already? And we, we ain't even inked the paperwork yet. Can, can I, but to be honest, this is, this is part of me being, uh, you know, not experienced. Cause I got, I got a little scared from the question myself. I don't know what to tell them. Oh, just be honest with them, Raya, and tell them, hey, listen, man, we don't have anybody directly for that property because we haven't been able to show anybody the property, but we we have a strong confidence that, that we have some folks that would love to qualify for it. So, um, you know, we would definitely love to, to give it a whirl. Does that seem unreasonable? Could, could, I, could I add something I to say. that? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just it was running through my mind. There is a, I was using an REI Pro or a friend of mine gave me access to it and they have a list. I've never used it. I just want to get your take on it. Uh, they've got a list of buyers that you can, uh, you can place it either like on a circle or uh, based on like a zip code or something. And these are, and you can base, base it on a list within like, say, I'm, I'm guessing like, right. It has a, a, a has a, uh, an address, right? So you base and you can get, a certain amount of buyers that have bought in, uh, within the last six months. And uh, yeah. I don't know how it works, but it would be something that I would say, um, well, let me, if you give me the information I need, uh, let me find out uh, from our list of buyers and then, and then see if we get, can get one that can qualify for your property. But you're not saying you don't have them, but, I don't know. I'm kind of throwing it out there. Can we get buyers from like another website and, and shop that? And you can, you know, they'll, they even give you phone numbers and everything. Like you can call them. You can call these buyers. Yeah. 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 You could do that. And then just text them, you know, like the last zip code, I'm, I'm looking for a certain zip code, 78232. And I drew down in that zip code. And it was like, I don't know, like, like 150 buyers that bought within that zip code within the last six months. I mean, yeah. Why would they be interested in uh, I'm just kind of throwing it out yeah. there. I don't know. I've never are you talking it. about cash buyers though, right? Yeah. These are wholesale or not wholesale, but these are cash buyers. Yeah. Cash we're buyers. trying to put tenants in them, right? That's the thing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. That's yeah. a different, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that's a great point though. I mean, and I was visiting with someone else earlier today who's doing coho sale. And we talked about that very thing that they, you get cash buyers off a of prop stream or you could do it on or, REI pro or some, mm -hmm. some other site as well. Probably a myriad of other sites and yeah, you can do some marketing to them. I, I can't really tell you that you can text blast everybody in the universe legally, but, uh, you I know. can, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I mean, I hadn't thought about that. They're probably, they're probably investors and you, you, you're kind of wanting, we're wanting to put tenant type people that want to get. Yeah. Along. But if you get real good at this, uh, Raul, and you've got deals and you can get deals that have some equity in it too, you can find investors that'll buy these deals off you. And wouldn't that be nice if you, if That'd you be. could get an arrangement with an investor buyer who would come in and give you a certain number of down payment guaranteed or a certain percentage down payment guaranteed, uh, you could definitely set up a deal with another cat and just flip these deals all day long to them. But yeah. don't start there. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I just, because that question was brought up. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a, it's a good point, man. Yeah. Um, Raya, did I answer your question okay, dude? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you did. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, don't let them shake you. Don't let them break you down. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get over it sometime, but I'm still in the, <laughs> the zone there. Be a warrior, man, man. I'll tell you what. 
Ra'ed, he's the Maserati in the garage. There you go. He is, Rev up man. that engine, Ra'ed. You got to hear Ra'ed on the phone sometime, man. I've never, I've never put Ra'ed on blast with the uh, role play as, as him being the seller. I don't think. Uh, but, yeah, he definitely – He's got some skills. Cool. He just needs to. He just needs to polish him up a little bit too. But he, that's what he's doing here. He's getting yeah, better. Still, he's actually I gotten still, two or I three. I still need a lot of sharpening though. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you working today, man? Actually, I'm driving. I'm on my way home now. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I got off early, so I just figured I'll just ask the question while I just uh, driving. Yeah, that's cool. Well, good. I hope you had a good day. Yeah. It's been a long day, yeah, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> well, uh, we can role play you and you and I can role play anytime you want, man. Just get on the calendar, and I'd love to. And yeah, I was uh, I was trying to schedule one for Friday, but I saw your schedule was full, booked for Friday, so I will yeah. probably do one Monday. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. I'd like when, that. When is Claude coming on board? He's is it this Monday? The eighteenth. Or is it eighteenth? I got you. Okay, yeah, cool. the 18th. He's gonna blow our socks off, man. That oh, that dude. guy's that guy's cool, man. I've seen some of the some of him on a treadmill and all that stuff. Yeah, what, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta. <laughs> I got a treadmill now, man. Oh, do I got, you really? I got to set up all just like that now. I'm trying to be just like Claude. Damn. <laughs> good guy. Good guy to emulate, man. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, yeah, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and I hope he realizes this. Because uh, yeah. I, I freely share him with my audience. I freely share, uh, you know, uh, I'm positive. I sent, I want people to go to his website. I want people to get the, the books because the stuff is legitimately life-changing. Yeah. Legitimately. And perhaps there's people who don't, maybe they sign up and they don't, you know, maybe you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. But I can tell you what, man, I'm drinking. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking more and more now than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's worth it, man. He's great. I can't wait to the 18th. And and these uh four four weeks to mastering the phone call, that's pretty I'm having fun with that, man. Everybody else is making it fun. Everybody's showing up and role playing with me. That's really cool. That's cool, man. Well, guys, I guess we ought to sign off here. There's not right, much sir. else that I feel like I want to do or need to do. Sounds uh, good. Well, I got my homework. Yep, yep, you do, man. That should be pretty easy. And then uh, next time we chat, you and I on a one-on-one, -on -one, we'll we'll be talking about doing the uh, the role plays. We'll be role playing, and then yeah. and maybe even calling one or two. You know, work on your work on your Texas specific lingo. Y'all, man, you know what? I am an actual cowboy. I, I was raised in a ranch. I just don't, I don't wear the gear, man. And I don't talk like that. But I grew up in a ranch with cattle, cow patties, and cactus. Uh, all right, partner. All right, man. <laughs> I know I get too, I get too excited, man. Uh, all right. Howdy, partner. Hey, yeah, I'm going to start you. saying that to you now. Howdy, howdy. partner. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Oh, there's some uh, there's some nice senoritas out there, man. I tell you what, I like them Daisy Duke type chicks. Man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about uh, it offline. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, all right, sir. Man, uh, I'd like to hear more about your ranch in history. I'm I'm interested in stuff like that too. Did you uh -huh. see the guy? Did you see the video on YouTube where the guy calls cows with a trombone? No. Check it out, yeah. man. Get on YouTube and search. Uh, farmer or rancher or something just um calls cows with trombone that's all you got to do calls cows with trombone. You, you know he, my dad would use the horn of his truck and they come they, you once you train one the other the other ones follow and you feed them yeah, that's how you yeah. get them to go that's that's interesting though man it was like a freaking concert man they were all <laughs> they were all around and it was like they were singing along oh yeah man, man i love it was it really touched my heart man but I'll you know honest. why you know why that works though why is that because because they, he trains them with the trombone, and then when they come into the stable, they're going to get fed. 
So oh, you could, yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you could you could fart up in the air and train them that way, and that would be... <laughs> wow. Well, maybe they couldn't hear you from far away. <laughs> That's it. That's it. 10 million That's views, funny. man. I predict I would get 10 million views. I'm done with real estate. I'm retiring right now. I'm finished. I'm also, I'm retiring this live show podcast bullshit I'm doing. I'm going to work on my fart skills because... If I can fart, uh, if I can fart into a megaphone, that's all I got to do. <laughs> they'll come in, man. If you train them that way, they'll come in. I'll have, I'll have, I'll have cows run into me like left and right. Get this shit on video. Easy street. Dude, be cheap. You, you, you go viral, man. You go viral. <laughs> uh, I got a lot of work to do, guys. I better sign right, off. <laughs> right. I'll talk to you later. Thank all you. All right. Uh, hey, are them beans?